what is going on so my hair situation don't worry about that i'm trying to figure out what looks good for me so i combed it but i got curly hair so that shit just looks whack but anyways today guys we're going to be going ahead taking my m3 to the shop checking out what's going on with that car like how much is it going to cost to paint it how much is it going to cost to put in the intake scoops how much is it cost you know to fix all my imperfections to make sure that baby's beautiful you know so what we're going to do first because the rear is rubbing because of my massive space we're going to go ahead and get the m3 bring it inside get the e46 take this baby outside and then swap out maybe just the rear wheels maybe just take off the spacers i should just take off the spacers do you have the uh, levels I have OEM lug nuts. Yeah. Why don't we just take off the spacers. We can just take off the spacers. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do that. <laughs> but I know, because you guys have been saying, yeah, yo, put back the black rims. So let me show you guys what's going on with the black rims. Oh, thanks for the lights, Johnny. Don't mind this madness, guys. You know, me and my mom are sharing this beautiful space. Oh, dear heavens. So, anyways, here. Oh, dear. Here are all the rims. And of course, the last one's probably it. No. Is it the front one? Looks like it's. This one right here. Yeah, right there. So yes and see. That's actually that's not as bad as I thought, but it's still you don't want to be driving on that. Yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna be driving on this. But dude, look at the tread. Like it's just because of my camber or what my toe or whatever the heck you call it. Like the tire is good, but unfortunately, dang, that sucks, dude. Anyways, guys, so these are really old tires in the front anyway. So we have a new tire right here. So this is a Michelin Pilot Super Sport 255 35. So this is a lot better than these ones, these are 235s. So this should sit better. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find myself another tire, slap it on these, then throw these on the car. Meantime, I don't wanna rub. Yeah, of course. So let's go ahead and get the other car inside. This is the fitment as of now. The reason I'm gonna go ahead and take off these wheels as of now, I'm probably just gonna rock no spacers or rock 20 mil spacers with 25 mil lug nuts. We'll have to see how that shit works. I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see if it works. We'll see if like if, if anything's behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, what I'm gonna do is jack it up from the rear diff, let the car roll on its own power, and if it doesn't get caught in anything, we're good. Okay. But if I don't want to drive it, yeah. You know. So we're gonna test that out. But as you guys can see, my wrap is just getting destroyed. Like this is from drifting. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't want to ruin this tire. These are brand new tires. So you actually see the line forming all around here. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, yeah let's just go ahead. I don't want to damage these new tires. Come on. I'm blessed to have had them. Yeah, let's go ahead and jack it up from the diff and go ahead and uh, change out the spacers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. One thing I noticed, and I'm not, I'm not trying to bash on them, but they did like over torque the hell out of this. Like, Jonathan's barely, even with this, look how much torque Yeah, take this, take, take this off. Take, we're using a breaker bar, we couldn't do it, we're jumping on it. And then, <laughs> we're using my jack pipe to uh, basically get this thing to loosen up. It's still tight, dude. At least that's working. Let's just, let's just finish up. Yeah, that's, it's really not good for it to be that. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard this big bags on big bags on big bags coming, uh, uh, coming in. Yeah, flex, I just want to win. LABB who we running with yeah. 2233 I'm on 10 again Pump up that right, guys, I think it's ready uh, for me to go ahead and let the car roll within its own power So I'm gonna go ahead and try that Let me know Jonathan if it's not moving at all Alright So far so good So it looks like possibly 25 millimeter uh, spa lug nuts work on a 20 millimeter spacer So uh, let's go ahead and do the other side real quick And guys little imperfections like this is why I'm going to the shop When I kick it in it goes in, it just needs a few, it just needs a clip there. Uh, another thing I'm gonna be addressing is the scoop that goes there, the scoop that goes there. For some reason, I can't line it up perfect, perfectly, so I'm gonna let the body shop take care of that. I also want them to fix this slight little gap here. This really, it's not that big of a deal gap, but I want it to get fixed. And this gap looks pretty good, so I'm not really too worried about that, but I just want them to fix that for some reason. I can't get that to line up either. The door, again, these are all little minor things. I feel like the, the spacement, the, the space could be a little bit better. These aren't lining up perfectly. I'm just a little bit picky about that, so I want them to fix that. And uh, I just wanna say the last thing is this quarter panel you guys are bringing to my attention. Uh, when they pulled this out, it looks like they need to pull it out a little bit more, and the wrap is just making it look even worse. So I want them to pull that out a little more, and then uh, and then pull it out on the bumper again. So yeah, they're gonna need to do a lot of things and then paint the whole car. What I'm gonna be doing right now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a picture right here of the three colors I'm actually considering. I don't know if you guys seen the new like the new M4s. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them, especially as car enthusiasts. The new M4 colors are absolutely insane. You got like Austin yellow, Secure orange, 
and like marina blue. They're all metallic colors, they're insane. So I wanna get my car painted one of those three colors. So obviously I'm just doing the external of the body. Luckily my car is black, so it's not a big deal. Because also painting the inner seals and everything is gonna be costing like an extra two, like another two grand and I can't afford that. So just the external body, little things like that, just getting it all painted properly. But yeah, let me know which one of those three colors. I'm gonna have a poll right there. Let's just head down and talk to them and see what's the plan for the car. All right guys, let's head out. Right there. I can't do anything. I literally can't. All right, guys, we're here at the body shop. So I think we're gonna talk with him out here. Again, I don't wanna like invade his privacy, so I'll talk to him and I'll let you guys know what he says. Guys, I don't know if you can see him. Poor guy, he's dying out here. Where is he? Come on. There you go. <laughs> he brought the towel over his head. So yeah, guys, it is super hot. But basically, we just talked to him. He told me about 1800 for the external paint job, um, 100 bucks to fix. Apparently, my hood is dented. Didn't know that. So apparently my head is dented. That's why the bumper is aligning up perfectly. So um, he's gonna fix my hood, line up the bumper, put in the two air scoops, all that stuff, paint the whole car, fix the quarter panel, all that stuff for a really good deal. So yeah, we're gonna get that done hopefully the next day or two. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys vote. So again, check out that poll. Should we go with Sakir Orange or Marina Blue Metallic? They're both metallics, um, they're M4 colors. I really, really like the new M car. I mean, you've seen the paint job. They're so nice. Like, I love the car just because of the paint. Yeah. Like, I, I would love this car if the paint was a huge difference. And yeah. the good thing is, Sakir Orange, I, I like, they have an Austin Yellow. I've seen it, I don't like it, so. I don't think I'm with it. I love that color. Really? <laughs> How do you not like it? It just doesn't look right. It doesn't, doesn't fit the car. <laughs> boy Johnny I'm back at it again back at it again boys with a beautiful install so yeah we are home guys and we finally have let me see if I can zoom in it's a beautiful M button Be yeah what he said it's a beautiful M button <laughs> so this is an M3 okay and I don't have an M button so I want to get this installed and program it so let's have a red on red on red accent this is an M3 I oh. didn't know that. Oh, it's probably because I don't have the red button. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so is this where I plug it in? This is where you, yeah, you just sit right over here, right where, right there. You press just it. Just let the whole world know. It's like, that, that's where the humbleness just all fades. It's like, nor should, you can't say, say remember to say, <laughs> just imagine I just stick it right there. Someone asks me, what is that? Well, that's an M button. An M button. Because you I get that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole month is completely phased. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and install this. Um, and hopefully it looks- Oh. My- Okay, drop, let's do it. And take off the whole steering wheel. Uh, essentially. Alright guys, so normally, I- Normally, I would recommend you disconnect the battery. But in this case, we don't have to because I'm really just gonna pop out the airbag, take out the trim, put back in the airbag. I'm not actually gonna unplug it, I'm just popping it out. Dude, guys, we're getting so good at this. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm looking for some weight reduction. Just gonna keep it like that. That actually looks so sick. Race car. Race car! All right guys, so an M3 is not only good for performance and uh, any other thing, but it's also super good as a workbench. It's like literally an M3 commercial. All right guys, I don't know if you even know how to take that screw out, but we just gotta pop this tab open right here. I think there's one on each side, yep. So I pop this thing open. All right guys, we just cut the button and that looks so much better. I don't know if it's lighting really bad. Is it good now? Oh my God. Oh my Lord, let's go ahead and install it. So I have... I'm not even scared to push this back anymore. It's actually kind of easy. Bro, it's so good. Oh my lord, look at all the red accents, guys. We have the beautiful, can it zoom, M button right there. Beautiful M push button, red stripe, M push button. That sounds so stupid. This is just called a red button, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 
Yeah, it just looks really good in us. I'm super happy, super stoked about that. I actually have some news for you guys if you guys want to get this button. This is a little small plug if you guys want to help your boy out. So basically when I ordered this one, I ordered it from China, so it took how long? Like a month at Like least. a month or something. So it took forever. So unless you guys want to wait for that, you could get it cheaper. You can just go on eBay. I think they sell them for like, I think like 11 bucks from China or something like that. And uh, obviously it's a lot more if you just wanna get from the United States. So I just ended up wholesaling it from China to you guys, I'm being straightforward on this. Uh, I'm gonna basically sell the button on my website. I only have 15 of them. So the first 15 can get them. They come with decals. So if you guys have never gotten decals before or you guys need some extra decals, you know, there you go with this beautiful M button right here. So it's only, I'm only selling 15 of these in the website down below and it should get to you within like three to four days. But anyways, I think now we need a car wash, right? We need a car wash. Dude, this car has been washed for so long. Like two like weeks. Two weeks, yeah. <laughs> Like it's crazy, time, especially for this car. Yeah, it's and dirty, guys, I'm sweating so bad. I hate working in cars. Dude. Hot. Hot. What? Hot, what is the? How hot is it right see now? What the temperature like to be? An unhealthy air quality. Is it unhealthy air quality? Yeah. <laughs> this is 101 right now. 101? I don't know if I believe that. That's too. That's no. too low. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's 713. Anyways, let me show you guys how, how dirty this car is. So the new wheel fit me. It actually looks still really good. No rubbing issues, awesome. Look how dirty that is. This car needs a wash. I think there's still like a little doo-doo over here. Nope, that's fine, that went away somehow. <laughs> yeah, what all the spoil? Dude, there was a stain I there. I don't know what happened. There for a while. It was, it was, it was, I guess somebody had the respect and decency. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna wipe that off for him. He needs some help. He doesn't deserve this car. He needs. Someone needs to clean this up for him. We have water stains all over here. We need to get this thing cleaned up. Super dirty. And then also, guys, we need to unwrap her. <laughs> not right now, John. I need, I need some. Not right now. But yeah, basically, guys, you guys heard that we're basically going to be taking this to the body shop in the next day or two to get pretty much the whole car repainted. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I'm so stoked on it. And they're also fixing all the front end stuff. When I took it down to the body shop and I was like, so what's going on here? How come my bumper will not align with my hood? Is my hood off? You know, is my bumper off? He said, your hood is bent. If you, if you can see by this emblem, it goes up and down because my hood is bent. So you can fix the hood, no issues. You see how this one's kind of good, but this one's slightly dented, that's slightly dented. You can kind of see a little bit of a lump right there. It's because apparently the hood got hit and that's what happens when you buy used car parts. This thing was $700 too. $700 for a bent hood. That guy scammed me, honestly. And he's a subscriber. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you, I trusted you like a brother. Anyway, <laughs> I took his word for it. He said, no, everything is good, brother. Trust me, there is no I problem. There. I huh? remember. He, Jonathan was there with me, yeah. He said, everything is good. Everything's fine. No need to worry. No, no need to worry. Take it home, Habibi, I have no problem. Everything is a-okay. I'm like, yo, okay, Habibi, $700? I gave him $700 and I got screwed. So anyways, they're gonna be fixing the hood, they're gonna be putting in the scoops, they're gonna be painting the whole car. So when we pick it up, it should feel really new. It's gonna feel like a new car for all of us. And also they're gonna fix up that quarter issue. So you guys are wondering about the whole quarter thing, they're fixing that as well. So yeah, we're gonna wash it. It's probably the last wash with this wrap. And then we're gonna unwrap it, hopefully in the near future, and get this ready for the shop. But yeah, I think she needs a proper wash before we have to say goodbye to the wrap. It's not what it looks like, guys. I swear to God. Jonathan, is it what it is? What is this place? <laughs> it is and what it is. It's not Taco Bell. This is, this is, um, this is a uh, salad house. I'm sorry guys, I had no choice. Don't worry guys, leaving with the water, keeping it low key healthy. I think it's time to go get a wash right now. These cars are super dirty. And then probably a photo shoot later tonight. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name. Alright guys, it's time to dry her up so we can get some photos hopefully soon. There's the yacht right now, M3 is super clean, we're just gonna go ahead and vacuum it all up, make sure it is good to go, check out that M button, oh my lord. But anyways, yeah, I still gotta vacuum it up, clean it up a little bit more, there's stupid rags everywhere. Might as well clean it up. I'll just empty out this stuff real quick. Uh, Cause that's unnecessary. All right guys, car is looking all beautiful. Let's go ahead and get some photos. Oh man, dude, that's <laughs> that's crazy. All right, 
right guys, so we just made it home. We're about to go out and go out and shoot. We actually have Sierra over there. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's gotta go shoot with us in a little bit. So let me go get my camera. She's looking extra fine. I'm gonna definitely miss this color, but it's all good. Hopefully the new color is gonna be 10 times better with some, you know, I'm gonna put on the black rims as well. It looks so good, like in person. When you were driving it, the it looked, wheels, I haven't seen it clean in a while. The wheels were shining. Really? Other, dude. I'm telling you. See, that's why I, I wouldn't ever paint these guys. Like, the, the reason I like these wheels is it's the finish. The finish looks good. The finish is so Yeah. Amazing. But anyways, we're going to get my camera. Let's go out and shoot. Put Sierra out here trying to get some nice shots. <laughs> Imagine the owner comes out here, dude. Oh, shit. All right, guys. We got my camera. We got Sierra, this camera. This dude's like... Here we got John through his camera. He's gonna be filming a video, guys, so uh, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what he's gonna be doing. But uh, see, what, what camera do you have again, bro? The Canon 5D Look at this Mark III. beast! Mark three, dang. Sigma. Yes. 35. Flexion on it. 1.4. All right, so if you guys like the shots, you guys heard the specs. So uh, yeah, he's gonna take a few shots. I'm gonna take a few shots. John does take a few shots. His is the budget camera. So if you guys are wondering, you know, quality differences, I'll throw a little bit of at least like two of each camera. So that's everyone. It's like a little challenge. Yeah, exactly. See who can get the best shots. I love my Samibi, I love Habibi, 